All right, y'all, we're back. Like I said, I was literally going to record this one after. Um, I believe it's literally processing as I record. So, yeah, um, if you have any questions at all about the evolution level, sorry, or the evolution method, or EVs viability, or general stuff about the evolutions, or anything like that at all, go watch the EV video. It's like 10 minutes. It's not that long. That's really short for my standards. Just go watch that or listen to that. If you have any questions, especially the beginning part is when I answer most of those questions. The second part is like talking about actual EV usage, which is not really relevant anyways. But yeah, um, if you have any questions about that at all, I'd rather not even bother mentioning it in, in this video because I would rather save time. Just just if the daytime nighttime thing seems weird too, there's a reason for it. Just goes into the EV one. Um, it's not like I did that because it's the most logical thing. I did it because I had to. Um, that being said, we have Vaporeon. So all of the evolutions like i said ha god these little link things are being annoying i just want to talk about stuff without them popping up thank you um plus because they're not even uh up to date yet i have to fix these links once i uh, upload all the videos these will be private it isn't even done by the way if you're wondering uh, once i am finished with all of them at once then i'll unprivate them and they'll all be uh, available so that being said rip orion again like i said all of the evolution let me actually fix this spacing a little bit this one should be a little bit longer i feel like not that much there we go oh, no 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 oh i forgot to add the other evolutions to the speed tiers actually so i will do that when i get to them i believe i did it for all of them up to flareon and i espion rather and i didn't do it for these last four so anyways the porion okay so i mean you guys kind of just saw when i skimmed through them what their abilities are they all have a, uh, a at least one elemental ability so drizzle drought electric surge fairy aura dark aura psychic surge Snow Warning slash Refrigerate, also uh, Pixelate and Variora. I already said that, Dark Aura and Variora. Um, and then Pixelate, Galvanize, and Refrigerate. Otherwise, their secondary abilities are case by case. So I will talk about those ones more in detail in terms of logic, because I don't think I need to explain the logic behind Drizzle with Orion or Psychic or Dash can I can explain why, like balancing wise, I chose it, I guess. But I mean, I. From for these guys, I actually balanced them around the abilities first because the abilities are something that well at least the first ability, like I balanced it around Drizzle. Not so much Vaporeon, but like the other ones, for example, I had to tweak their stats a bunch to make them not overpowered as hell. Um, or not way better than the other ones. Otherwise Espeon would be by far the best if I kept one thirty special attack. Psychic Surge would be ridiculous because it's super fast and it's just not it would be unfairly strong in all the other ones. So I'll cover that when I get to um Espeon, but for Vaporeon specifically um all of them now have base 65 hp as you guys know by now hp is much more based on size now in this hack no exception for the evolutions in fact almost all of them had 65 hp anyways the only ones that didn't were umbreon vaporeon and sylveon um and vaporeon had a ridiculous hp stat for no reason i mean i know pokemon logic is weird but i i, I don't I switched it with his Vidas stat essentially, but I just essentially what I did. Um, not switching, but I gave it a 130s Vidas stat, which is excellent. Um, super, super bulky. Um, I gave it a slight boost to defense as well, just to compensate for the HP loss. Slight drop to attack just to keep the base stat total. Um, so the evolutions do follow stat patterns now. Um, their maximum offensive stat is now 115. I'll cover that when I get to the first 115, which I believe is Flareon. Um, so their maximum offensive stat is now 115 because, again, they have a boosting ability that gives them. A 50% boost or uh, a 30% boost, which essentially stacks to adaptability, anyways. When uh, I'll cover that when I get to Umbreon and then uh, Sylveon, but yeah, um, just super powerful. I mean, it would be over, it would be dumb if I had 130 on either. I mean, maybe it would, it would, 130 would actually be okay on Glaceon, but I kept it for consistency and also for uh, other stats to be distributed better um, because I still wanted it to be bulky and have uh, 90 speed. That's another thing. Um, the slowest evolutions are now base 80 speed. Um, 80, they all range from 80 to 90 for the most part, and then there's a couple that are uh, uh, higher than 90. Uh, so they're all 80 to 90 besides Jolteon, um, Espeon, and Leafeon, which are logically, obviously, should be the fastest. Um, the other ones all have 80 to 90, 80 or 90, rather. Um, I believe Vaporeon is actually the only one with uh, below that much, but um, we should have asked all of 90, but yeah. Um, I would have done it for Sylveon, but there was nowhere else to put the stats. So, yeah. Uh, I mean, you're... Hold on. Are these the same size? They look like they're not for some reason. Let me make this bigger. Sorry, y'all. Should be doing this off screen, but it's fine. Um, yeah, their move pools are so 
self-explanatory like i don't even really need to cover it for that long but what you do have of Orion is a usable speed tier a still great 110 special attack boosted by drizzle and then 65 80 130 bulk so physically with the hp you're not super bulky but if you invest you could take physical hits especially you're bulky even though you have 65 hp 130 speed up is huge so you're especially bulky no matter what um which makes sense for Proporion. And um, as for why it has Regenerator, logically, I'll talk about that, then I'll talk about the actual mechanics of it all and everything. Uh, logically, it is said to essentially like be able to melt itself in water and its body composition or cellular composition is like made of water and it can melt, da -da 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 -da, similar to water molecules, all that stuff. Um, so regenerator isn't the most obvious thing but i think it fits and it's cool and it's um i couldn't think of any other abilities that were as good as uh drizzle there was like nothing i mean liquid veil but that would be absolutely overpowered because that would essentially give it special huge power for water type moves and ugh, that would be disgusting um you know so it doesn't need that and or rather it can't have that so the only thing i was thinking was regenerator um so for example if your team doesn't want the um disadvantages of having rain up because there are also disadvantages to come with that with fire types and whatnot um or you want to use another weather then you can still have a point on your weather team just run for generator um and that is really good on it because you again are just super bulky and you can get bulky tummy switch uh, sorry hp each time you switch out which is always nice to have that being said and also uh you have a generator parting shot which is just god tier i mean amazing pivot um that's another weird thing that all of them get now is parting shot i think it fits fine i mean if they can get nasty bot they can get parting shot and they, they, you know blah, blah, blah. i know they're like kind of cutesy but i see it a little bit so i ended up throwing it on there just because it's nice utility to have um so yeah regenerated parting shot is really useful on regenerative sets you can debuff their stats switch out and get the healing um and do that over and over again cycle through um, you also have U-turn for not so good coverage on 60 base attack, but that's more useful for the other ones, for the physical ones or the mixed ones. None of them are actually physical anymore, that's another thing. All of them have 95 to 115 special attack, every single one. Um, so they're all actually pretty equal in power for the most part, which I like. Um, the main thing you're choosing between is like bulk abilities, whatnot type, obviously, yeah, that's the main thing. Um, and yeah, that's really cool. Uh, otherwise, Vaporeon's move is very supplementary. Uh, scarf sets are excellent because of 110 base special attack with Drizzle is really powerful. So you can use specs with like Bubble Shot, which is priority, um, or you can use Scarf with just any water move and just be super quick with Scarf up with Scarf sets. Or you can of course run bulky sets, so that's really useful for Vaporeon. Um, and of course, like I said, specs Bubble Shot demolishes things uh, really, really powerful with Drizzle up. Um, and of course, you can support your teammates with Drizzle. You can. Uh, summon. Let me make sure I'm recording. By the way, I'm pretty sure I am, but okay, I am. Just wanted to make sure. Um, you can. What was I saying? Something about drizzle. And, oh yeah. Um, you know, you can have rain teams basically, so you can activate abilities that way. Um, you can activate weather ball on your opponent, on your teammates and stuff. So it's always nice to have drizzle, and it's really nice to have infinite ability capsules, so you can just switch them on and off. Something else I can actually address now is Evo boost quickly. Um, what that is is uh, it replaced plus. Um, there are actually two abilities that are placed plus and minus. There are trainers only, so I'm not really going to waste too much time covering it. But basically, if this would load, that would be great. There are There is a boss fight. I'm not sure exactly who yet, but there will be at least one boss trainer in the whole hack, uh, either in the main game or post-game. Post-game is playable, so it's not like it's any big deal. Um, and essentially what that will do is give them all a 1.5 times boost to their offenses when they're on battle together. Um, so the, uh, there's actually seven evolutions out of the eight that have... Evo boost. Uh, Umbreon has another ability that I will cover later when I get to Umbreon, but yeah. Um, cool stuff here. Really powerful. One of these mods will not be used by that trainer. I'm not sure which one yet, but uh, yeah. That's really powerful. Obviously, 50% special type boost is really great and strong. Um, it's kind of like the drizzle boost from rain only on all of your moves. And also, I can have them all in one battle without their abilities overlapping each other, um, which is the cool part of that um, of course this is not really relevant for the player uh, you'll know it's coming for sure if you're just looking at the, the, there, there was an eevee here hold on i'm not bugging there was definitely an eevee there sometimes it likes to glitch out and disappear and now it wants to lag great Ooh, now you guys can look at the fairy moves for a second while that loads there we go so as i was saying it's very self-explanatory move set i mean it has signal so i'll talk i'm not even going to bother wasting time talking about the water moves it has because nothing here is like groundbreaking it's just the same shit that every special water type gets um, 
they're powerful. They're very powerful. I mean, Whirlpool, Hydro Cannon, and Hydro Pump especially are super powerful. Uh, Surf and all that shit is great, but you guys know what that does by now, I hope, if you just look. Most of them are buffed by a good amount, so yeah. Um, like, accuracy-wise, all that stuff. I don't want to talk about the nitty-gritty of it because there's just no point. I hope you guys have memorized that by now. Um, if not, then you can always feel free to open up the docs from the description if you're a new viewer or new to this hack. Feel free to go in the description and check it out yourself. Um, that being said, yeah, you have uh, coverage-wise uh, Sigma Beam, which is 80 base power, Shadow Ball, which is 85 base power, uh, Nature Power, which is useful because you can actually control that with Terrain. So if you have a Terrain ally, you can get a Thunderbolt or Moonblast or Energy Ball Vaporeon with the Terrains. Uh, and also there's one more that I'm blanking on right now, but uh, yeah, that's useful to have always. Um, What's the other terrain I'm thinking of? Ah, Psychic with uh, Psychic Surge. So yeah, um, that's nice to have. Uh, otherwise, you have regular ice coverage, um, Aurora Beam, Ice Beam, and Icy Winds. Nothing nothing really groundbreaking. You know, Weather Ball, if you want to use like Regenerator e Vaporeon and like a Sand Team or something with Rock type Weather Ball for a specific strategy, I mean, go for it. You know, it is what it is. Um, so that's always cool to have the option for. Uh, setup wise, it has two really, really good ones, and it has a bunch of other really, actually three really, really good ones. So Nasty Plot is amazing with Bubble Shot. You could also run Nasty Plot with like a Slack Berry set and get that speed boost and then start sweeping. Although, honestly, I would save a. Uh... Oh, Overlap. That's another important one I want to talk about. So because these guys are pure typed mons, they are going to have overlap with other pure typed mons um, because of their abilities. So, for example, Simipore, uh, the fire, the, the Gen 5 monkeys will have uh, one of their abilities be, you know, Drizzle, Grassy Surge, and Drought. So th that, will, that will inherently overlap. However, the monkeys are much frailer and much faster um, and are physical attackers as well. So they are mixed, f fully mixed attackers, not like slightly mixed. I mean, boldly blown mixed attackers. Um, so that is something that has, and also they'll have slightly different move pools and whatnot. Um, Arguably, probably better move pools, I would say, but obviously different move pools. You know, they don't get all the setup moves that these guys do. Uh, for example, like no acid armor on Simi Poor, whatever. So uh, I can talk more about that when I get to the other overlap mons, since these guys have the privilege, at least Vaporeon does, of being the first. Although there is Politoed, there's another uh, pure water type of Drizzle. I, feel like, I believe these are the only three. So yeah, I can't remove Drizzle from Politoed. That's like his fucking ability. Um, Politoed is slightly, slightly weaker, but it's mixed attacking and it's. Um, Overall, well, it's definitely bulkier physically, physically because it has the same base defense stat but more HP. Um, its bedef is lower, but not by that much. And then its speed is significantly higher, 95 versus 80. Um, and then its move pull is a lot more diverse, so it gets a lot more coverage than Vaporeon. So despite Vaporeon being bulkier and stronger, Politoed still has a lot of advantages over uh, Vaporeon. And of course, their secondary ability, GUI, um, there's a lot more niche than Regenerator. Regenerator is obviously better, but GUI is still very useful. But you guys can read about that in this because I am not, this is not a video for Politoed. I just wanted to quickly address overlap mons uh purely to you know address the issues because that will come up especially with jolteon man that one is uh, kind of rough but there's nothing i can really do about it so uh, rough being meaning like it overlaps a lot with other pokemon that already exist but either way um because you know guys you know i try to take a lot of effort to make things distinguished and i really did do my do my work even for uh jolteon actually you guys will see despite the ability overlap and the, the typing overlap and the stat overlap it, it's it's i did put effort in so um that being said like i said you got a bug ghost you know you got solid coverage man uh nothing groundbreaking but you got stuff to hit you know you got you got the coverage you need um otherwise set up you have calm mind uh, all of the evolutions actually get baton pass so you can actually baton pass nasty plots swords dances that's also why i decided swords dance is worth on all of them and not just ev and the physical ones because you can baton pass that um with a dm so that's really useful so they all have nasty plot swords dance and then some of them get calm mind and then you know other various setup moves um, of course you can also baton pass like early game you can baton pass well by the time you get to level 45 you probably have at least one of these but if not then you can always do it with other setup moves until you do like a jwd substitute baton pass sets and all that fun stuff um but yeah i mean it's really power it's really straightforward i don't, I don't really have too much else to talk about besides these setup moves so call mind is really useful for its stats but one of the best things it has is actually uh acid armor um it can abuse acid armor on its own or it can abuse it uh, did i give it aqua ring am i blind it has aqua ring right that's that's its healing move that's a 50, uh, it heals 50 percent now, as you guys were not, were not clear, it does it. Oh, I did not. I am a moron. I got to do that right now. Oh, God, what just happened? Oh, I copied it twice. 
we'll do this live because uh, I do not want to forget about that. It's really important. I'm surprised it didn't tell me about that. Hold on. Yeah, this is its reliable recovery. It needs that. Um, all of them have a 50% healing move. Every single one of them has a... I mean, every single Pokemon, for the most part, besides like three, will have reliable recovery moves. So, um, Because there's no healing items in this game. so Or at least that you can't use in battle besides Citrus Berries. So, uh, oh, I gotta throw this on there. Hold on, y'all. Level up moves. Vapor, yawn. I gotta put zero. Four ring. And then 30. Not four ring. Okay, there we go. So, that being said... Um, yeah, Baton Pass is great. Acid Armor actually gives plus three defense now, and that has two PP, so you can get the plus six defense in two turns, which is excellent. Um, truly excellent with that. Um, Acid Armor is very fitting. Only certain mods have it. It's pretty low distribution, which is why I made it like a Cotton Guard equivalent, you know, because it has about roughly the same distribution. Um, I just think it's cool. I considered making it plus three special defense. I think that would also make more sense, to be honest, but, um, I figured, why not? I mean, most of the mons that I, I ended up settling on defense because all the mons that I was looking at that were going to get it would like the defense boost more than the special defense boost. So, yeah, um, that's that. Um, like I said, Calm Mind's great. Nasty Plot's great. The top ass great. Solid coverage. Nothing groundbreaking. Um, most of the evolutions don't really get that impressive coverage moves, although they have what they need for sure. Like, none of them are lacking in the coverage department. They all have the moves they need to hit the things that resist their stab moves. So... Um, like every Pokemon has that now for the most part, so yeah. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this one. I don't have too much else to talk about. These guys are pretty straightforward. Um, I mean, like, I guess Soak is useful. I mean, that's just Z Soak gives you plus two special attack, so that's useful to have um, as like an early um, option of a nasty plot because it's way earlier than you get a TM. And then otherwise, I mean, you can just use it for like totems, you know, it removes their stab, makes them pure water. You can then like parting shot, regenerator soak is useful. You could like soak then parting shot with regenerator out into uh, a mon that is super effective against the pure water type and then kill it, you know, something like that uh, is worth considering. Um, although you, you have a lot of form of slot syndrome, so it's always very niche, but it's, it's useful to have the option. All water types for the most part will have that option. Although Reporian is unique in that it has the regenerator um, and the parting shot and the soak, so that's actually a viable combination. Um, and of course, like I said, they all get the moves. Where did he, why did I scroll so high? They all get the pre-level well they get all the moves technically if you don't evolve it or you use learner um so you can be learner all of these moves up to level 30 from the evolutions or you know you can just uh keep it what the word i'm thinking of keep it god what am i trying to say you can uh keep like charm for example is very useful on vaporeon wish is not too great on them because they have pretty low hp stats but you could always do that with like umbreon specifically They'd probably be okay with like stalling with toxic and protect and wish sets would be okay on umbreon but i'll talk about that later when i get to umbreon uh, I know some of this stuff might be useful, you know, Encore, all that kind of stuff. Uh, Swift and Quick Attack are useful on, uh, you know, Plain Nice Baby Dolls are useful utility, and so is Tearful Look. Tearful Look is great, Charm is great. Um, yeah, that's about it for Vaporeon. I will be getting to Jolteon next.